On Monday, May 2nd, 2022, our most benevolent Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly took time from her precious retreat for a conference with Supreme Master Television team members. During the call, some recent news was shared by the team in relation to Ukraine, which was followed up by Master's insightful comments. Master also reminded of the importance and immense blessing power of group meditation. When you meditate together, the power is strong, very strong. Yes, yes, Master. yes Master. Jesus even say, if two or more sit in my name, I will be with them. Yes, yes. yes. that's yes. right. Take care of yourself as if you take care of me, because I am you. Yes. 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 We're together. Each one of you, if you meditate well and if you're virtuous, you have one Master with you. Imagine how important you are. Oh, so if you meditate together, so many masters, so many energy fused together, that will lift you up, make you strong and healthy, spiritually and bodily. Yes, yes master. master. The more you meditate, the more your aura will be shining. Yes, yes, master. yes master. And the more protective layers you will have. Some of the disciples, some, very few, have COVID because the attack can pierce through their very thin layer of protection or none because they don't meditate. Oh. Not enough. Yes, 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 master. yes, Master. Because if you practice well, your aura is bigger. Your blessing increases. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And you can bless all your surroundings in a larger area. Thus, your environment is more peaceful. Also for yourself to live in that kind of ambience. First of all, it benefits you. Yes. yes. And on a larger scale, it benefits the environment. And the larger still scale, it benefits the world. Yes, yes. yes. Master. You probably won't reach that yet. Hopefully you will, but still, you will benefit something, someone, especially your family, friends, and five, six, seven, nine generations. Yes, yes Master. master. I told you 10 people in a country, maybe some small country or some small province, who practice diligently, virtuously, spiritually, then that area will never know destruction. It's not that they do anything. It's just that their aura, their mission is like that. understand. It will help without people even seeing anything. So you must continue to be diligent in spiritual meditation, if you want to progress and help yourself, your family, and the world at large. Yes, yes Master. Because when you meditate together, the power is very strong. So whatever you pray for, it will manifest. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Master, in an April 30 video message to Russian soldiers, Zexen C. Vladimir Vasilinsky told them better to survive in Russia than die in Ukraine. Yeah. He said Russian forces are preparing for big losses as they prepare for new attacks in the eastern Donbass region. He stated Russia has already lost over 23,000 soldiers. Yeah. And that since from the beginning of the invasion, Russia has lost over 1,000 tanks, almost 200 planes, and 2,500 infantry fighting vehicles. Yeah, it's shot on TV. An array of corpses of tanks laying on the field. Truly, not just one. Yes, Master. It's good we have some of these photos. I don't know how they get it, but it's good. I guess after the Russians left some of the cities and areas, they can't take all these burnt, kaput tanks or vehicles with them, so they can take a photograph. Right, right. Some are still repairable, so they repair and use them. Mm. Right. Oh, man, my God. What kind of world do we live in that many big countries just kind of compete with each other to make more and more deadly weapons? And, and keep boasting about it on the internet. Mm. Yes. Like Russia yes. has tested this new missile, or America has some uh, more deadly bombs, whatever. Yes, yes, yes master. master. What kind of word is this? Instead of boasting about economic development, people's health, or higher moral standards, it's all about death, about killing, about murdering. And they thrive on it. Mm. What kind of world is that? Isn't that dangerous for us, huh? It is. Yes, 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 yes. It's a terrible world to live in, not to talk about these invisible ghosts. The more they do that, the more ghosts they will have. People who die suddenly without any blessing, without 
knowing what it is, they become ghosts. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Maybe they don't go to hell because they died like that. So some of the karma is wiped off. Some is wiped off, but then they became just wandering ghosts. And they will make more trouble for the world too because of their hatred. Yes. And then we will continue this cycle forever. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Master. And then later they will become human again and they go and find their enemies and bomb them. And again, again, and again, the cycle goes on like that. Mm. Yes, 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 Master. Today you bomb me, tomorrow I bomb you. Blah, blah, blah. Next day, next year, next life. Huh. Anything else? Yes, Master. The Ukrainian president has tweeted that the evacuation of civilians from Azovstal steel works in the southern city of Mariupol has begun, with a group of 100 people the first to leave. He he said they are expected to arrive in the town of Zaporizhia tomorrow. Yeah, but there are still many in there. Right, yes. Yeah, because of bombing, it's difficult for them to continue. Right. That was probably an older news. Some new news is they had to stop the evacuation because Russia said, okay, let them go, but then they bombed them. Oh, mm. I see. Yeah. Yes. So nobody dare to go out. Uh, yes, yes master. master. They don't say we forbid you to go out, but they will bomb them. Uh, so people stop, people don't dare to go out. And if they stay in their bunker or wherever that was, they have no food, no water. And no milk for their babies as well. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All this is a horrible crime against humanity. I don't know what else. If this is not a crime against humanity, what is then, huh? Mm. Right. Yes. Uh, you can see that the world is helping Ukraine more now. Right. Yes, that's right. right. Before they just couldn't care less. They let Ukraine be like a buffer zone for them between Russia and the free world as long as they can have their gas, their oil and their whatever. Yes, Master. And now even Germany already uh, agreed to make an embargo on oil and gas from Russia. Yes. Oh. Before they were the ones who bought the most. Mm. Right. Yes. yes. After the war began, they bought more oil and gas than anybody else in the bloc. Yes, yes, Master. Yes. Uh, in Germany. Yes. yes. Yeah. And now they agree not to. Mm. Oh. They agreed to give an embargo already because the whole oh. Europe uh, pressure them. Oh, good. I don't know. Everybody wants to stop oil and gas, and they bought more than before. And from all the Russian exports, they earn about 60 plus billions since the war. Mm. Oh. Yes, Master. Their revenue. Yes, Master. So if all this doesn't stop, then the war can be fed and go on forever. Putin couldn't care less if his people die in the battle. Mm, yeah. As long as he's safe. Yes. But he won't be safe that long if the war goes to Russia. Sooner or later, if continued. Yes, 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 yes. If Russia dares to use nuclear weapons, then that's it. I think Russia will be doomed. Mm. The whole country will be bombarded with nuclear weapons as well. Everybody has nuclear weapons, not just Russia. I don't know why they use it to threaten Europe and the West. Yes, 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 yes. It must be Desperado, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, he knows everybody has nuclear weapons. If not more, than at least the same as Russia. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever weapons Russia has cannot be compared to NATO force altogether. Yes, yes. Right. right. They can destroy Russia, truly, completely. So they better think about it. Mm -hmm. yes. But they also got a little scared lately. Larov, the foreign minister? Yes. yes. He also said, oh, it's just about Ukraine. We don't have anything against NATO. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. That's one good news also, huh? Yes. Yeah. I hope they meant that. Or later, they better not be too crazy to attack NATO because they will be doomed the whole of Russia. Yes, 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 Master. And they all came to visit Kiev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even the European chief. The lady, Ursula from the Leyen, yeah, she went all the way to Kiev by train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that is something good of her, I have to say. Better than many others, okay? Yes, yes. Master. First, the three European members came. Yes, yeah. Master. Big members came. And then later, Boris Johnson came. Yes, yeah. Master. Right. And then slowly everybody else came. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Even Biden's top officials, like Lincoln. Yes. Yeah. 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 And other top one also went. Mm. 
except Biden. Biden went to Poland only, nearby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> the UN chief also, Master, Antonio. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that one also came. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Russia bombed them at that time, just to show off. Yes, yeah. yes. Just to say, it doesn't matter who comes. Mm-hmm. We bomb you when we want. We can bomb from afar. Yes, yes. Master. Oh, man, what arrogance. And now the UN chief at least knows some taste of it. Yeah. Right. So now he says it's evil. The war is evil. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, for the first time I heard a big word. The war is an absurdity in the 21st century. The war is evil. And even the Pentagon man, important guy, spokesperson or something, he was almost crying while he said whatever is done by Putin in Ukraine is depraved. Never mm. see such a depraved thing. Mm. No normal leader would have done that. Huh? Right. Yes, right. Yes. It's hard to look at what he's doing in Ukraine, what his forces are doing in Ukraine, and think that any um, uh, ethical, moral individual could justify that. It's difficult to look at the... Sorry. It's difficult to look at some of the images and imagine that any well-thinking, serious, mature leader would do that. <clears throat> so I can't talk to his psychology, but uh, I think we can all speak to his depravity. No. Uh, what else? Tell me. The head of the military administration in Kharkiv, Oleg Sinagobov has confirmed to the BBC that four districts have been recaptured from the Russians. Wow. In Kutuzovka, about 100 people, most of them elderly and children, lived in cold basements for two months without light, gas and food supplies. My God. Sinagobov said, today our defenders were greeted with tears. Oh, wonderful. Hmm. Wonderful. Thank God. Blessed be heaven. But the war is far from over, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Master. Uh, I hope it's soon. I have the feeling, but I don't dare to say anything. Okay, anything else? Um, yes, Master. Ukrainian women are training to clear landmines as demand for the specialist skill rises. The 20-year-old Miss Anastasia Minchukova and five other women travel to Kosovo where they are attending a hands-on course in clearing landmines and other dangers that may remain hidden across their country once combat ends. Yeah, yeah. Ms. Minchukova said, there is a huge demand for people who know how to do demining because the war will be over soon. Ah, very good. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, very, very brave. Yes. Wonderful. Good news, good news. I'm glad. Tell me. Yes, Master. According to the Danish uh, publication OLFI, Denmark will send Ukraine 25 Piranha 3 armor personnel carriers, 50 M113 armor personnel carriers, and M10 mortars with thousands of shells for them. Okay. I am not happy about that, but at least they are helping with whatever they can. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yes. They are just protecting themselves because if Ukraine is gone, they will be gone too. Mm. And even if just one part of Ukraine is lost, that is another stepping stone for Russia to continue their evil, empirist kind of scheme. That's right, right Master. Or uh, even yet, and already Moldova is the next target. Mm. Yes, yes. Yes. And they even say it. Transnistria requested Russia to come in. Always they request. Yes, <laughs> Major. Yes, Putin always uses that. Like Crimea requested him to come in. <laughs> uh, Donbass, Luhansk, and uh, what? Donetsk and Luhansk. Luhansk region requested them to come. <laughs> Why don't they say just the whole Ukraine requested them to come? <laughs> yes, they yes, were, right? Yes. Yes. So somebody must have requested them, right? <laughs> or must be President Zelensky. He <laughs> 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 probably have written a letter to ask Putin to send troops to come in to rescue, liberate his country. <laughs> yeah. 
probably put it inside, but Zelensky must have requested it, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come in to take my whole country. Welcome. Mm? <laughs> and we are not these. We are fascists who are waiting for you <laughs> to liberate us. Yeah, yeah. They came in liberate people, true. They liberate them from their land, from their houses, from their hospital, from their kindergarten, from their charitable shops, or whatever. They liberate them from their money, from their life, from their peace, from their freedom. Everything Putin wants to liberate them from. Now they have nothing. Yes, yeah. They became refugees after liberation from Russia. Even partially, yet they are already liberated. Yes, yes, so they have no money, no house, no country, uh, nothing. That's what liberation means for Putin. Yes. And he also liberated many tens of thousands of his troops. Yes. Mm. He set them free from their youthful, hopeful, and inspirational life. They just died in the freezing cold, in the battlefield like that. That's the liberation Putin style, huh? Mm, yes. People have no more life, have nothing, even their own life or their children's life or their families, nothing anymore. Tell me, um, the U.S. diplomats have temporarily returned to Ukraine for the first time, Master, since the invasion. And the U.S. State Department said that there are multiple team members of the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine met in Lviv mm. with the Ukraine officials. And they said that today's travel was the first step ahead of more regular travel in the immediate future. Mm. Yeah, they're bringing uh, embassies back into Ukraine. Yes, Master. Embassies and consulates back is good. And even, you know what, Pelosi also traveled to Kiev. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And met President Zelensky. Yes, yes that's right. right. What is she doing there? What can she do? Huh? Just to show that, oh, we are here. Well, I guess better than nothing. I guess people like that. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And the Pope also changed his tone now. Huh? <laughs> 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 I think they all need some hiding. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yes, some beating up from behind. That's what I call some hiding. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I think yeah. they need it. Otherwise, they won't get up from their fat butts and do anything. At least say something good or supportive. Yes, yes. Tell us, you say, what is a secret meeting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she worries. Russia will bomb her or something. Mm -hmm. Funny, huh? Everybody has changed their tone now. So quickly, in just some weeks. Yes, right, yeah. Before nobody even wanted to go there, didn't give anything. Even stopped somebody from giving. Huh? What is that? What's the deal? Tell me. Suddenly everybody changed like 360 degrees. Mm. Oh, I'm surprised too. Are you? Yes, yes, yes It's yes, good, yes, it's yes. good anyway. It's good. They behave themselves. It's good. Uh, sometimes they need scolding. I <laughs> 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 uh, waste my time. Uh, anything else? Uh, yes, Master. Uh, German Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck, mm. when he was visiting uh, Warsaw, Poland, he said his country is very, very close to independence from Russian oil. And um, it, Russian oil imports make about 35% of Germany's oil consumption mm. in 2021. And he said that we must quickly free ourselves from the grip of Russian imports. Yeah. They can put the coal back, coal industry, put them back. Until they find something better. Yes, yes. Because that is not the worst source of global warming. It's the methane. It's the animal people industry that gives out the most methane and hits the climate the most. Yes, Master. Right. 80 something percent is from methane, from the animal people industry. Yes. yes. So coal mine or gas mine and oil and all that, they should continue. Yes. And then they will have enough fuel. They don't have to import from, from Russia. Yes, Master. Uh, for example, even in Libya, they, they have oil to export. But because of political idiots, they stopped it now. Oh. Mm. That's enough to supply for many countries. They compete with each other to, to snatch that uh, oil field. Mm. Yes. Anytime some new big shot comes up or small shot wants to be a big shot or big big shot wants to be a bigger shot, they make a new government and then they make trouble for the oil uh, export. And people in that region are also economically affected in a bad way. Yes. And also they cannot export to other countries. 
The latest fight over the live blood exports is estimated to have cost the economy more than a billion dollars. Previous battles since the death of Amr al-Gaddafi seven years ago caused production to fluctuate. Restoring full output is a top priority, both for foreign customers and Libya's National Oil Corporation. Otherwise, Libya is also the big source of oil for the world to use. Mm -hmm. For example, like that. Yes. Yes, Master. And before, like in the USA, President Trump continued to let people work in the oil and coal industry until something better. Yes, Master. And Biden came up immediately. He uh, vetoed all that. Immediately. Mm -hmm. He did the opposite of everything that Trump has been building up for America. And now we are in a mess everywhere. Even the war also. Yes, Master. Yes. If Trump was there, I tell you truly, honestly, 100%, that war would not have broken out like that in no. Ukraine. No. Yes. yes. Yes, Master. We started no wars. We didn't have Russia fighting in Ukraine. We didn't have China threatening every day. Taiwan, they wouldn't have done it, and Russia would have never go into Ukraine. The Afghanistan withdrawal was so incompetent. Do you think that it fueled Vladimir Putin's ambitions with the Ukraine invasion? Yes, yeah, I think that was the reason. I think that's why he did it. doesn't have to do anything. It's just him in the chief position. It would make the world go in that kind of different direction and America go into a different direction. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Like Biden is, is feeling darkness into the world, but nobody sees it. Not many. Mm. Yes, 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 Master. Only some clairvoyant people can see it. Even uh, physically speaking, Trump has made peace among many nations. Right. Mm. right. Yes, yes. So that's that's good enough evidence already. Yes, yes, true. But he can do more by just being there. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. By just being in the in the position of controlling power would bring more peace to the world. Oh. Re recently, uh, Trump received a media interview and he mentioned that uh, we should not be frightened by uh, Putin threatening using nuclear. He said, US, we have much more. So actually, we should not be afraid of Putin. Of course not. Yes. I said the same not long ago. Yeah. I think they're dealing with him incorrectly. I think what they're saying, it, it's almost like they're speaking with fear. Mm. And they don't understand. We have one weapon alone that would destroy everything. And many other things he said, I forgot. But uh, never mind. No, it's good. I told you already. But heaven is helping Ukraine. Right. Yes, yeah. Otherwise, what do you think? Even before the West was helping them, they already defeated Russia everywhere with their, you know, homemade weapons. Even. Mm. That's right. Yeah. And they, they even sank the most important warship of Russia, the Moscow, sank it to the bottom of the sea. Yeah. Mm. And that one is irreplaceable for Russia. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. And, and they sunk it with their homemade weapons. <laughs> the Neptune uh, made in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Wow. And uh, remember the lightning that destroyed many of the Russian tanks that were coming to kill them? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master.
in the dark night, they were holding their positions. A lot of uh, Russian Federation tanks and uh, machines coming at them. And uh, he he picks up his phone and he calls his father. He says, Dad, you have to pray right now. We're in a situation. So he, his father, uh, he rings other members of the church. They start praying. And then later, son gives a phone call and he says, there's some miracle happen it looked like some spaceship like there was like an attack from the spaceship there was some kind of a lightnings was starting shooting from the sky and and like sparks were going were like spreading everywhere and then they on the morning they discovered that the whole the whole machinery was destroyed so they like all of those soldiers they they thought maybe this was done by some kind of a weapon that we didn't know about, or it was just God's intervention. Many things. Of course, not complete, but humans, karma also. Otherwise, heaven was really helping. You can see that. Yes, most yeah. How can Ukraine, such a small country compared to that giant Russia, how can they defeat them? Right. Right. Yes, Master. <laughs> Long before the West even moved anything. Yes, 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 yes. So now they wake up. They, they saw that Russia is at their door already. So they begin to scramble to help Ukraine. Mm. Because Ukraine is fighting also for them, like a front line. Yes. Yes, true. And also they saw that Ukraine was so brave, so courageous, they felt ashamed. Yes. Mm. I would be ashamed if I were them. I told you already before, yeah? Right. right. Otherwise they should all go home and find vegetables to eat by themselves. Even if people in Ukraine are hungry, starving in the bunker, or people in Europe don't have enough food because the Ukraine war stopped exporting food to them or to Brazil or to China or whatever, all the ordinary people suffer. Mm, yes. yes. They don't suffer, so they can talk big mouth. Yes, 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 yes. Like Merkel, for example, shameless and remorseless. Uh, there was uh, the president of uh, Germany who wanted to come to Kiev, <laughs> and they refused him. Yeah, that's right. They accepted every other leader except Germany's president, because he was, it's been long ago already that he's for Russia. But, uh, you know, never mind, he was wrong, but now if he wants to come to you, that means he knew he's wrong already. Yes. 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 So I think Kiev should have forgiven him and welcomed him. Mm. Now, if he has forgotten his uh, mistake or he already knows he was wrong and he wanted to go to Kiev, that means he awakened already. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe he's sorry and his uh, trip to Kiev should be like an apology. Mm. Yes, right. yes, yes. So the, the Ukraine people should have been more gracious and accepted him. You need more friends now than enemies. Uh, he's uh, even better than Merkel, no? Yes, 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 Master. People can make mistakes in uh, different circumstances, but later circumstances change and they know their mistakes and they apologize in different ways, then we should be able to forgive them. Right, yes, yes, yes Master. Master. If I were Kiev, I would have forgiven him and and point to his wrongs, but accept him. Mm. Then he changed. Yes. yes. Because he already changed. But that is a big humiliation. Mm. Yes. Germany is big in Europe. Mm. Yes. 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 Almost like leading European countries, European Union. And they got refused. Mm. Even Pelosi got to see Zelensky. <laughs> 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 but the president of Germany <laughs> was outside of the door. Mm. Mm -hmm. Outside of the closed door, that, that, that's quite a, a humiliation. But they have the right to refuse him. Yes, yes. 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 It's just what I'm saying is in our spiritual uh, way of life, if people repent, we forgive. Yeah. Yes. That's what it is. It's difficult for men to say, I'm sorry, no? But if, <laughs> <laughs> but if he wanted to come to your country and visit together with others who support you, that means he is also supporting you. Mm, yes. Sure. And he is sorry. Yes, yes. yes. So, Kiev should have received him. It's still not too late. can still do it. Most Compassionate Master, 
We are forever grateful for your continuous love and sacrifice for the world, tirelessly working and devoting your time, energy and physical well-being to provide wisdom, guidance and spiritual blessing power to achieve peace for all. We pray for an urgent and lasting halt to all violence, including the ongoing and needless war against the innocent animal people. May we follow divine virtues as we repent, forgive each other and create a new beginning for life on earth with a total vegan lifestyle. We wish Caring Master to be always well and mightily protected by all merciful heavens. To hear the treasured wisdom from Supreme Master Ching Hai on the importance of meditation and more, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date for the full broadcast of this conference. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Flying News or Between Master and Disciples conferences, such as Flying News, Treasure Others' Lives by Making Peace, only peacemakers can go to heaven. Ukraine's noble willpower is stronger than Russia's force. Putin must call for immediate ceasefire in Ukraine. To believe in humanity and goodness is to help each other. There are no excuses for invading a country. Between master and disciples, governments worldwide must stand with Ukraine. Powerful countries must be courageous and help Ukraine. Heaven is aiding Ukraine in the war between good and evil. Supreme Master Ching Hai's thoughts on the urgent situation in Ukraine. The world left Ukraine to fight alone. Inspiring good news in support of Ukraine. Big powers did not keep their promise to Ukraine. The united spirit of the Ukrainian people shines before the world. 